Have you ever gotten plushies from your toaster? Me neither. Don't wait for tomorrow. Squish, we are toasting up some toys today. That's not normal. Uh, I have a new toy that you guys really liked something similar earlier this year called the Cookies Makery. It was like an oven and you put in the clay and it made the plushies and you guys thought that was cool and I also thought it was a really cool toy, but guess what I found? It's the Cookies Makery Toasty Treats. You guys, this one's smaller, obviously, than the Cookies Makery big oven thingy, uh, and, but it looks like a little toaster. The Cookies Makery, there was only like six. You could get three of one kind and three of another. This one has 12 different ones, and they all kind of look like bread or Pop-Tarts or bagels or waffles. These are really cute, and you guys know that I absolutely love plushies, and they're scented. I am so excited about this. So, let's go toast up some pastries, some plushies, some toy. Let's go toast up our toys and see what we get. Okay, I don't actually even know where you can find these. I don't even know if they're for sale yet. I looked everywhere for these. I saw them on somebody's Instagram, but then I couldn't find them for sale, and then I found them on eBay, so eh, I don't know. So I, I don't have a clue where you can buy these from, but I found, I only got three. What if I have the same three? This is gonna be a very short video. I, yeah. But I hope not, I hope it's three different ones. I'll be so bummed. Let's take a look. It says, you pop in bread, you make a surprise pa- Wait, if I pop in the bread, is it talking about this cardboard business? Now, one of the only criticisms I had of the Cookies Makery oven thingy was that it was literally made of cardboard. It was such a cool toy, but it was kind of flimsy on the outside. Anyway, you pop in the bread, make a pet, reveal a scented plush. Ready to open the Cookies Makery Toasty Treats. Doesn't even look taped. Oh, it's not taped. Okay, that's unusual. I'm not good at pictographs. Like, well, give me instructions. What does this mean? I think it's saying the instructions are taped here is what I believe that means. Like, hey, don't throw those away. So these are the instructions I think it was telling me. Oh, here's our little bread. It is cardboard or card stock. It's cute. Place card treat into narrow slot on to toaster top, slide the handle down fully, and slide the handle up. Oh, wow. <laughs> it said 12 to collect, but it's not. It's only six to collect, and then later there will be six more released. So right now there's only Blueberry Bunny, which is a waffle, Strudel Poodle. I like that name, Strudel Poodle. It's, it's fun to say, Strudel Poodle. <laughs> Unicorn tart, so that's like a pop tart. Panda au chocolat. Uh, I guess it's like a chocolate Danish, a pastry, I don't know. Peanutty and jam tiger. Or is it a silent P, like in pneumonia? Nutty <laughs> and jam tiger. And then pan kitty. So those are actually all really cute. The only one that is ultra rare is blueberry bunny and then strudel poodle and unicorn tart are rare. So it'd be cool if I could get those. All right. Let's see, here we go. So, I mean, it's got these that look like where your toast goes, but then this goes in here? All right. Okay, you guys ready? <gasps> okay, I didn't do it all the way down yet. It's actually kind of, I don't, okay. I think I did it all the way down, it clicked. It was actually kind of hard. Now let's do it up. Oh, I don't think I did it up. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so I know when I did the oven one, it just like, you would put the dough in and then you would press the timer to go, good donk. <laughs> this is kind of the same thing. It is such a cute concept, but it's a little bit clunky. Once again, this is cardboard. These are plastic and I don't know. It's like so cute, but a little, eh. <laughs> Could be better. All right, I got the pea nutty, the nutty and jam toaster tiger. Oh, it's got beans. It's an English breakfast. Oh. Wait, y'all, I don't know if it's just like a mental thing or what, but I swear I can smell peanut butter and jelly. The grape jelly smell, like the grape jam or jelly, 
is really a strong smell, but I swear I smell like peanut butter underneath, like a nutty smell. I don't know. It's very cute. I can see like the peanut butter like smears on her and the little jelly whiskers. That's adorable. It's printed, not embroidered. I mean, that doesn't bother me. It bothers some people. I don't care. <laughs> I think, I don't know. I think some people think that that makes it less quality. I don't, I don't care. I think it's cute anyway, but it is printed and look, she's toasted, super toasty on the back. That is a cute little piece of toast. I got peanutty and jam tiger. I think it looks like a kitty cat. I want that strudel poodle. I also want the unicorn tart, but the blueberry bunny is an ultra rare. I'm still hopeful. Oh, that looks like that's going to be a dragon and a monkey. Ugh. I'm gonna have to get more of these. So there you go. I don't actually know that this is playable again. Like, okay. It had a little piece of fabric up there that did not come back out. It was like a one-time deal. I mean, obviously this part goes up and down, so I could technically like shove her back in there and wee. <laughs> so yeah, as toast, you could then use this as a toaster. You know, if you have a child who has like dolls or plushes, they could they can continue to use it like a little toaster. I think that's pretty cute, but that whole gimmick of the bread goes down and the top part rolls back, that's a one-time, a one-time deal. All right, let's uh, do another one. I don't know how much I paid for these off of eBay, and so I can't even tell you if I think it was worth it. Also, I don't know how much they're gonna retail for, so I am no help. Okay. I do like these little stickers on the back. The toaster's very cute. It is still, it is still cardboard. Oh, wait. Okay, I just found something. I just, okay. So do you see the instructions? I've showed them to you already. It shows me putting the bread down, which is exactly what happened here. I had a piece of bread that looked like that. And then I got this toast, kitty, tiger. Look what I just got out of this one. I just got pancake. That is clearly a pancake. So I think that means it shows you what you're getting. You put in the pancake and I'm going to get the pan kitty. I got, I put in the piece of toast and I got the jam, peanut and jam tiger. I think you're going to get the little cardboard cutout of who your plush is. I don't mind that because it's still blind until you open it. Right. But huh. Interesting. All right. Let's put it in there. Let's see if I can do it better this time. Okay, that one was easier than the first one. The first one was a little difficult. Here we go. Yay! <laughs> it's so cute. So that is a tiger. I said it looked like a kitty, but this one is definitely a kitty. <gasps> Guys, these are adorable. And I don't know, maybe you have to have an absolute obsession, upset, upset, obsessive love with plushies like I do. To I don't know. These are so cute. I love the little hearts. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Weird. Okay, so that really smells like grape candy or jam or something. This smells like cotton candy, like that warm sugar smell. A little maybe like vanilla. I thought this one was for sure gonna smell like maple syrup and butter. One of the other ones from the oven did, it smelled like that, but this just smells like warm yeah, it just smells like sugar. Like, I, it just smells like warm, sweet candy. Cute, though. I love the blushy cheeks. I love the green eyes. I love the butter and the little toes. <gasps> Look at its toe beans. <laughs> Look at the toe beans. And the syrup dripping. And it's a stack. Ugh. I do like these a lot. I, I do not mind a printed plushie. And I think a lot of times the printing can actually be done better than embroidery because embroidery can just go bad badly. It doesn't, it's not always great. This is cute. So I only got three. Uh, so the video is not going to be a super long one. So I'm crossing my fingers that this one is not one of these two and that I actually have something different and it's, it's the unicorn. That's what I'm hoping. All right. Moment of truth. What did I get? Oh, I think I got the strudel poodle. <laughs> I think this one was from the strudel poodle. I'm not even going to open it back up to look, but I think that that's what this one is. That's a rare one, you guys. And it's kind of the one I wanted the most. Isn't that what I said? It's the unicorn. That's what I'm hoping. I'm going to say it's what I said. All right. Strudel poodle. Let's put my little toaster strudel in the toaster. Here we go. Oh, get down in there. All right. And pop up. Yes, it is 
a skirtle petal! It's so cute. Oh my gosh, its little ears are so floofy. Is this what it looks like? Yeah, it is. It's a lot... I mean, it clearly looks like this. It's very pink. It's pinker than I thought. But it looks almost the same. I don't know what I was looking at. This looks so cute. This is so good. And they all have beans in their bottoms. Like little beanie babes. It's so cute. So I got a tiger, a kitty, and a puppy. This one smells the best. Like by far. It smells the same as... I think I got like a strawberry bunny roll in the oven ones. And it smelled just like this. I don't love his little hands as much. Theirs are cuter he's just got like a square flap he's got little toe beans here cute and he smells so good he smells the best to me oh sometimes scents give me headaches um but this one is a really good smell i don't know what i would like to change if anything i don't know what it is i guess like i said this is just gonna tear up after a while of, of your kid playing with this so maybe just something a little sturdier because this is literally just cardstock it's not even heavy duty cardboard it's just it's cardstock. Very cute opening experience. The thing about me though, I want all of them. I want the bunny. I want the, the unicorn. All right. What do you think of the cookies makery toasty treats? Which of these is your favorite? Was it the strudel poodle, the pancake kitty, or the jam and peanut toast, peanut jam toast, peanut butter jelly? They all smell so good. They're all so cute. <laughs> I should have gotten more, but truly purchasing them from eBay, I didn't actually know what to expect. I didn't know if they were going to be real, branded. You never, you never truly know, you know? And so I didn't know if they were going to be all the same. I didn't want to get 10 of them and be the same thing, so. Did you like Strudel Poodle, Pancake Kitty, or Peanutty and Jam Tiger? I keep thinking I like one and then I'll look at another one and be like, no, it's that one that I like. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to Dr. Squish. It means a lot to me to have you guys here every week when I, I put out videos. And uh, I hope that you had fun watching me open these toasty treats. And uh, please leave me a comment and let me know what you're doing today and uh, what you want to see more of. And I will see you on my next show. Bye-bye, Squishy fans.